Hello everyone, FunshineX here. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Space Engineers with Planets. This is episode 14. Last time we made it to the moon. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're here and we can see all the heavenly bodies. We've got the Earth, the moon, Mars and its moon somewhere around it, the alien planet and its moon, and then the sun slowly creeping across here. I've watched the sun. It's kind of gone up this way. So I think we're on like closer to a pole. That's okay. It's not going to make a big deal. But you can see we landed in this huge crater um, full of ice, which is going to be awesome. But I don't want to build a base down there because it won't see as much sun. So let's build up on the ridge here. And actually, actually, whoa, I forget you can <laughs> float away a little bit easier. like to have a little bit um, flatter of an area. But up here at the, the polar cap, um, that's, that's not, we're not going to find that very easily. So I don't think we'll be making too many rovers. Um, at least for now, we'll probably be going with all flying ships and, uh, and just some kind of base that doesn't require to be on a flat surface, which suggests some kind of tower system. So let's just get a basic base going so we can store some stuff here, maybe start um, building. We've got to get some oxygen generating and some hydrogen as well. So we're in a new station here. Uh, what color are we making this? Let's make it a, uh, um, I don't know. Let's just go with a, a white station, sure. So let's put this guy right about here. Put a couple more on here. I should have some small uh, plates on me. Not very many, but enough. Whoa, it is really weird with the low gravity here okay so this will be our our mini little platform here let's get an oxygen uh, generator on here and let's get a uh, med station I'm gonna use the small one uh, should we use this medium one I haven't used that one actually what does that one look like what well, kind of looks cool so we need to put a block down, maybe. Yeah, I like that. Kind of like a panel one. Okay. So how does that take? Uh, it's pretty good, pretty cheap. Pretty cheap stuff all around. Um, we won't worry about uh, an assembler or uh, an ore... Uh, what do they call it? A refinery yet. Um, but let's go ahead and see what we can see. Um, if we get our drill out, are there any ores around here? I'm not seeing any. Let's let's go ahead and fly a little bit. There are kind of dark spots, but they they kind of blend in. I think they're just stone. Oh, I keep seeing my waypoint there and think it's detecting an ore. When we were high up, I saw I definitely saw ore. Whoa. It almost seems like there's one right where I started to build the base. Like this is really dark right here. Do you have an ore under? Oh yeah, it's really dark. It's definitely a different color. What is here? Nickel. Okay. Whoa. We've got nickel and iron. Oh, perfect. That's aw that's going to be great having that close. Um, I do want to find some platinum as soon as possible so I can get the better thrusters. And we also need some, um, what's it called? The stuff the reactors run on. <laughs> I am just out of it today. <sighs> okay, so what are our plans? Let me go ahead and ferry some materials up to the base from the lander. I don't want to move it too much um, because there's that's just a higher potential for it to crash. So yeah, I'm going to go down here and down to our little guy. He did. He had a pretty good landing. I've, I've looked at him. I don't think we damaged anything. Um, even that little guy there. The connector's good. Remember, we we didn't end up using the merge blocks. Oh, we did. We did a little bit of damage here. Okay, so we had some damage. We lost one of our side thrusters. Um, and I'm just going to end up getting rid of those because they didn't do a thing for us. Uh, maybe we'll replace them with some uh, ion thrusters there once we get platinum. But we do have some stuff in my cargo hold, which I think is right here. 
So I'll go ahead and grab that. You can see I brought tons of stuff so we can start doing a base. Uranium, that's what it is. <laughs> Ferry all this up to the base that I've started, get a cargo container up there, and I'll meet you in just a few minutes. Okay guys, we are back. I uh, had, a, uh, had a crash in there, so my base looks just a tiny bit different. Um, got everything pretty much built. Med or, uh, oxygen generator is there. We have a nuclear reactor, a conveyor to connect everything. An assembler, I know I said I wasn't going to make one, but I'll tell you why, and a uh, cargo container here. Um, I started making the first aid panel and forgot that it takes medical components to build one of those. That's a bummer. So if we go to our assembler, um, medical components take nickel, silver, and iron. I have nickel and iron right here, but I do not have any silver. Um, if I look, do I have anything that came from silver that I could deconstruct? Not seeing anything yet. Uh, da -da -da, nothing. Oh, reactor components I could get some silver out of. And that's it. Okay, so I'll see if I have enough, um silver from the reactor um, to make this. Looks like I need 26. What do we got? 36. Perfect. Okay. So production, disassemble. Let's do... No, not that many. Whatever. Just do them all. I... <laughs> Buttons are all messed up. All right, so that should give us a ton of silver assembling. Yep, we've got the silver. Apparently, we've got the iron. I guess that must have come there, too, but we need nickel. Uh, fortunately, there's a nickel uh, mine right over there, and I just gra grabbed a bunch, so we'll stick that in there. Uh, that one's needs, means we're going to need a refinery, so we're going to have to build one of those pretty quick here. And in the, in the most interesting thing happened as I was digging. Uh, most of the time I set my drill for uh, destruction mode on when I'm digging through the dirt or through the stone but just on the odd odd whim I um, I uh, set for normal dig mode and it, my suit reported trace elements of various ores in the stone itself now I think I could use this to my advantage um, no more will I have to go out and look for these gigantic veins of ore to mine them I can simply mine the moon's stone and refine it, you know, break it down into gravel. And then if I can come up with a way to centrifuge the the ore out of the gravel itself, I could, you know, basically get ore from anywhere on the planet, which would be great. So I'm going to be researching that uh, at this point. I think I've come up with a blueprint of something that would work. Uh, it's going to take a lot of power, and it's going to be very large. So we're going to need to expand this thing a little bit. Um, let's go ahead and stick our refinery on the back. This is all temporary, just while I get the moon base up and running and get a good source of materials and make sure that I don't die, right? That's, that's first priority. <laughs> so on the back here, let's see. How are we going to connect? Oh, oh, falling off. Connect our refinery. That should be able to connect right like that. All right, I don't need anything in the back there. Is that upside down or right side up? I can never tell. Are you right side up? You are, okay. So I'll put you right, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, right there's fine. Okay, go ahead and get him welded up when I can and then We'll put some upgrades on them as well. Now on the other side, this is where my... Oh, I need steel plates. Let's grab some of those. For the industrial centrifuge here, you can see that it's going to take me 700 steel plates, 40 construction components, 4 metal grids, some water tanks. Hmm, how are we going to get that? I don't know. <laughs> Large steel tubes, small steel tubes, motors, and computers. So I should have everything I need. Uh, but it's a it's a fairly large build, so hopefully it fits on here. Alright. So let's 
plan this centrifuge out. How big is this thing? It's like a two by three. Yeah, look at this thing. It's gigantic. I can barely even see the whole thing when I want to place it just to see how it lines up. Okay, we have... I want to rotate it this way. Nothing on that side. Two there. Do we have... Yeah, we have... Um, stuff to upgrade it there. So I would like to put it on the opposite side of this guy. Right here. I think. <laughs> and what I can do is I've also discovered new blueprints uh, to make upgrade modules that apply on both sides. So let's take a look at these modules here. So we've got uh, double-sided productivity, double-sided effectiveness, and double-sided efficiency. Um, I don't know what the difference between the normal ones and the V is. just besides cost, so this must be better. So let's go with these, they're a lot cheaper. I think I can actually make them. Double-sided productivity, should we go with effectiveness? I think we should take effectiveness. And then you'll see these fit right in here. Oh, are they bigger than I thought? Nope, they are perfect. Perfect. So those three will affect the refinery and this industrial centrifuge. So let's get, uh, let's get these welded up and see if we have enough components. How do we make water tanks? Let's see, right here. Water tank filled is ice and iron. So we'll move that ahead of it. So we need to take the ice out of here and put it in here, maybe? There it goes. Sweet. Made them. Uh, oh, we just need a little more small steel tubes. I don't know why I'm jumping across there. I could have just accessed it. Okay, there is our industrial centrifuge now up and running. It's beautiful. <laughs> now, inside that industrial centrifuge, we're going to take our gravel. So, did it already do that? No. We need to put that... Okay, guys, that was a derp. I um, don't have this thing connected to a conveyor. <laughs> so we actually have to come over here and put it in there. And there we go. Look, it's already working. It's filtering out ores. Very, very small amounts, but you see we're getting some of everything from that gravel. Taking a ton of power to do it, but that is very awesome. Does it actually spin? That would be really cool. <laughs> So there's the industrial centrifuge uh, set to work. I've got to connect it to a, um, a conveyor network. I'll do that. And then we've also got to wire up these guys. Steel plates, steel tubes. Is it all? Are we out of steel plates? I think we are out of steel plates. Wow. Okay. Gonna have to make some of those. But all we need to know now is if we take this iron out of here. 1.42 of iron from all of that stone. <laughs> you can see, guys, we're going to need a massive quarry on the moon. And I think we're going to make one. It's going to be amazing. So I can stick that iron into refinery. Higher priority. There we go. Sweet! Okay. Well, that, I think, will do it. I'm just going to go ahead and, and hand mine some stone, and maybe some more if I come across it, feed it into the system, and uh, get everything um, welded up. 
and uh, conveyored. And we should be able to go come back next time and start working on a ship to get us around uh, the moon's atmosphere. Atmosphere. So, hope you guys enjoyed. If you hit that like button, if you did, if you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. And this has been Funchin X for Space Engineers. Catch you guys later. Bye.